Welcome to Memorial Stadium and the sea of red in the heartland of Lincoln, Nebraska. An uncommon place and home to an uncommon program with a championship pedigree. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Indiana Hoosiers taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock. The Huskers will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Indiana Hoosiers offense will get the first possession of the game. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. The receivers don't usually lack confidence, and those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that swagger sets the tone for this offense, and Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep, or else this guy's going to take it to the house. Finds a tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Here he goes breaking the pocket. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Wants to throw on first down. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. There's a very high standard and a high bar when you're playing defense at Nebraska. You always hear people talk about the black shirts. Well, this guy right here, he fits into that because of his speed. You saw on that blitz, they had no shot of blocking him. He's able to get home to the quarterback to come up with a massive sack. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. There's a lot of different ways this offense can attack you throwing the ball. One of them is getting the running back going, and the screen is a great way to get him lathered up and get the defense starting to think about him a little bit more now. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Quickly complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. Right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm going to have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. i got to do something that they're not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working, so this defense they have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. They get him stopped after a two-yard game. Ball is at the 17. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. The noise level is relentless here on second down. Off the play fake. He makes the connection. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. I think he did a really good job, first of all, keeping his eyes downfield. You could see he wanted to throw the football. 
But when it's not there, don't force it. Tuck it down, get some positive yards. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Indiana! I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the bounce. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. You got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. And he tacked on the extra point. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Cornhuskers offense will have its first possession of the game. And you'd better be sharp throwing the football to the outside, Jesse, because both of these teams have lock-up corners. And they're really good at baiting you into throwing their way as well. You've got to be careful. And, David, I like these guys, too, because they're not afraid to get their face in the fan and support the run game. No doubt. And it's fun because when you're a defense and you can shut down half the field, you can do so many different things to give other guys help because you trust these guys on an island outside. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. From the gun, the ground game. Breaks the tackle. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. This defense happy with how that last play turned out, so they'll decline the penalty. Lining up to convert third down. It's a draw. Can't get him to the ground. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. The Cornhuskers will try to pin them back with the punt. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. And the returner will be knocked down. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Tackled immediately after the catch. We're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right, you don't force a short-yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job to fight that rush up the field, take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense, make the catch, make the run, get the first down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. They go to the ground. And the Hoosiers have enough for the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that one play to pick up the first. The Hoosiers are on the move. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to escape and get it himself. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. 
fits. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Softened him up with a run, and now to throw. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Another first down. Man, this, this, defense, this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. And the Hoosiers getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And they stop him just short of the goal line. They'll mark it at the one. Defense is all about creating negative plays. And he does a really good job at the quarterback spot of not taking sacks. Like, that's a great job. He wants to throw the football. The clock goes off. He takes off and gets a positive game. Someone not clear on the snap count. It'll be a false start, and they'll move it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. A lot of pressure on this defense. They can pick up the first down without the touchdown on second and inches. Getting some heat. Extending the play. Gets it out fast. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Strike zero here in the quarter, and Indiana is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we played one period. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. A third down play to get the quarter started. to throw. It's Roar. They're trying to... And the ball is out and they're after it. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat. You're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But they had a great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. ready to go back to work on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They'll try the run. Pushes the pile for a couple of yards down at the 12. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Backed up at their own 13-yard line. It's first down. He's going to pass. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Second down coming up. They're trying to get the receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. Fires to the tight end. He'll get it out to the 25, not bothered at all being backed up, and they've got a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. And after having a nice game like that on first down, if you're the offensive coordinator here, maybe you're 
are you thinking about being aggressive and taking a shot? Because even if it's incomplete on second down, on third, you won't have that long to go. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and ten. They'll give it to the back. Sweet feet on the move. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignment. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. And the Huskers come to the line with a new set of downs. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got a can. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's ridden to the ground, but there's also a flag down. Let's check the call. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the result of the play. They're a perfect two for two on third down on this drive. They need eight to move the chains again. Wants to throw. It's Rayola. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cornhusker. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working. Getting and wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they cap things off with a 9-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the 5. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline and the coach probably said, you dropped it? You didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, David. No, nah, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. You got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. Yeah, I like the quarterback making the decision quickly. I'm going to give it. I'm not going to throw the football off the RPO and just let my back get some positive yards. We're getting five-plus yards. That is a great job by the offense. Continue to stick with that. Trying to get to it. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. 
the Hoosiers will call on their punt team. He'll call for the fair catch here. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go straight. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Strikes the blow. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. This Husker running attack will hit you from all angles. You never know who's going to get it next. Yeah, it's kind of like playing that hat game on the stadium jumbotron. Like, where, where's the ball underneath which hat that's going to move around? Always a lot of deception with this Cornhusker offense. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching teams. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. Now they'll run the draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Huskers will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he tried to pin him deep with that punt. Instead, it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and gone. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. I like the play call on offense. I like you trying to get the running back involved in the pass game, too. Defense was ready for that one. Let's see what you got dialed up on third. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Back to throw, it's Rourke. There were serious revolutions on that third down pass, but it's incomplete. And the Hoosiers send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll take it on the return. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to... And the pressure gets to him down, goes the quarterback. Man, a lot of coaches talk about starting the drive positive and the first play that can get you going. The QB just kept backing up and going backwards, and that is not the start to the drive they were looking for. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Fadeau. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Can't hang on to the ball. He had it right in his chest, and it'll be fourth down. The Cornhuskers decide to punt it away. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put... He tosses one high and deep down the left side. 
And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. You know the saying, no risk it, no biscuit. If you want big plays on offense, you've got to be able to take shots. They didn't hit that one, but moving ahead in the second half, expect this offense to keep dialing them up. On the ground, it's Ellison. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, it's Rourke. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. The Hoosiers will line it up on first and ten. He wants to throw. They're bringing heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. He'll try it again on second and ten. Caught over the middle. It's Ellison. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And the Hoosiers will send out the punt unit. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very interesting first two quarters in Lincoln and a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that dough. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Offense set on first down. Wide receiver shows motion. Off the play fake on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Lloyd. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Second down. Offense gets set for second down. They'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking for a man. It's Rayola coming after him. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And the Huskers will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt.
They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if the dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. On second down, wants to throw. Makes his connection. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Yeah, and you see the wide receiver, he's got to push up field, make it look like he's going deep, but does a really good job sitting down on that curl, catching the ball. And then as soon as you catch that thing on that curl route, get up field, get positive yards. Nice route by that wide receiver. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. On target over the middle. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. It's a draw. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this crowd. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Dropping back, it's Ward. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And the defense has got it, and they're bringing it back. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Get the sack, get in the fumble. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as... Got a lot of running room. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Looking for a productive play on first down. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And, uh, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Caught behind the line. It's Mayer. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Huskers will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. 
Hunt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving a little bit and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload, forget about it. At the end of the day, it's just fundamental football, right? They practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has to have it. They just got to do a better job moving forward. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Handoff from the gun. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Fires to the wideout. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean... The offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working. Ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. The Hoosiers line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. This should be the last play of the quarter. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. He's in open space downfield. He was just a breath from taking that one all the way, and he'll run that momentum right into the fourth quarter. They fought tooth and nail through three, and it is all locked up as we take a look at the stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They're going to ride this running back. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Wide out in motion. On the move, it's Irving. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. The corners are walked up tight. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Touchdown, Nebraska! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. 
And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Fires on the move. Makes a connection. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And the Hoosiers with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Pressure coming. At the 45 on his way. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You've got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. Dropping back, it's Rourke. Throws to the tight end. Complete to the right. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. There's a great example of the offensive coordinator and quarterback being on the exact same page. The coordinator's anticipating man coverage. The quarterback recognizes it, and immediately he knows which receiver to go to to attack this defense. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. He'll pull it on the read. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. I love the job here by the linebacker. He just kind of floats and he's shuffling and he's waiting to see which way the quarterback's going to go with the football. Not able to snag it out of the air, but hey, batting it away, it's a big time play. Now second and 10. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Wants to fire on second down. Pocket starts to collapse. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. They've already got a bunch of sacks on today and another quarterback pressure. This offense has to try to find a way to get the ball out a little bit quicker, to protect their quarterback a little bit more. Whether it's screens, whether it's draws, whether it's rolling your quarterback, something has to change for this offense to protect their quarterback a little bit better. Quarterback extends the play. Makes the grab. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Got his man quickly. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Hoosiers! Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone, and he's knocked down at the 10. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. 
Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't get on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. You gotta be smart, patient, great vision, uses all of that to get to the 29. Out of the gun, the running back has it. The Cornhuskers get it past the sticks. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I gotta get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. He'll do it himself. Got the first down. Looking for more. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ballgame. And the Huskers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Caught near the sideline, it's Irvin. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Nice catch. Just past the first down marker, so this drive stays alive. Nice job by the quarterback and receiver. To the air. It's Rayola. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. This defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Touchdown, Husker! They move on top here in the fourth. Man, how about this offense in crunch time doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now I turn to my defense right now and said, boys, we need one more stop. Go out there, get me one more. And the kick is good, but there is a penalty flag because he paid for making that kick. I think they're going to get him for roughing the kicker. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. And gets set first down. Looking to move it through the air. He looks that one in nicely. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. You know, in a two minute situation like this, you've got to find your best players on the field. When you've got one of the best wide receivers in the game, that's the guy that you need to be thrown to as often as possible in a two minute situation late training. He's got an open man. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation. Throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and 10. Looking to throw, it's Roar. Fires to the middle. And the ball is picked off. No room 
to return, but no problem after making a play like that, and they'll have it at the 25. Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Great job by the defense, not closing the door completely, but stopping the momentum late in the game when you already got a lead. Nice job, D. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to be that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take turnovers. How do we create more turnovers? I think that rhythm you're talking about, Jesse, finding those things that I do well, building on them, and doing more of them. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.